If you want to have great mobility, especially if like me, you're 50 plus, then this app could be a genuine game changer for you. After all, if you can move, you are young, and if you can't move, you are old. Now, I do reap the benefits of yoga. When I do it, I feel great, I can really feel the difference. However, my adherence to doing it is always low. I just don't enjoy yoga, I don't look forward to doing it. But for me, and I think maybe you, I've now found the perfect solution, and for the last six weeks, I've been using the Pliability app. Now this app is very unique in the fact that it does put you into like stretch positions, but you hold these stretches for several minutes at a time while they play soft music and there's a man with a lovely deep voice who talks to you throughout the uh, hold and it's really helped me improve my mobility over the last six weeks. I took a mobility test before I started using this app, so has it worked? Let's find out. The mobility test takes you through serious positions, which I've filmed poorly here, so here's what they look like. And at the end, it assesses your overall mobility. Now I use the app in its most simplest form, so on a Monday, it will give me a workout. On a Tuesday, it will give me another one. On a Thursday, Wednesday, and you see that you see how it's going here. So the one of, one of the ones is like a long one. So that's 44 minutes, as you can see now. I try and skip those ones. But it does give you a really good variety of workouts based on your mobility score. Now, if that's not for you, you can explore and you can look at paths, for instance. Now, if you've got a problem with your neck and shoulders, you can go through a five workout routine here. They've got a welcome series. And they've also got restore your posture. And if you work at a desk all day like I do, there are ways here to also improve your posture. Now you can do these workouts on a phone or a tablet. What I prefer to do though is just screencast them to um, a television because I think you get a better experience on the big screen. And this is what the workouts look like. And as you can see, they're all kind of relaxed. So you relax into these stretch positions and then you hold them for a period of time, as I've mentioned. And the music is very relaxing. And I just... I just love this guy's voice. Face down, and the rider will start by reaching to the right side of your body, palm down. How relaxing is that? And then you'll just go through a series of poses like this one, and at the end, you're just all loosey-goosey, relaxed, and feeling wonderful. Now, I'm gonna compare my results from my first mobility test with my one, the one I did today, and that's a mixed results, mixed results. So my first mobility test was December 22nd, 2023 and you can see that my scores are mostly in the 70s and 80s apart from my shoulder and that is my left shoulder and that kind of was a 68 and it was an area for concern and in that test it said I had six mobility issues so six areas really where my mobility could and should be better than it actually was. So let's compare the results between then and today's mobility test. And the reason I say it's a mixed bag is because if I look at today's test, I can see that my, my mobility overall has reduced slightly. Now there is a reason for that, and I'm gonna talk about it in a moment, but my issues have gone from six down to three. So I've halved the mobility issues I had before. And when I look at the score here, you can see that both of my shoulders are now fine, and I'm really pleased because I've worked hard to increase mobility in my upper body, but going down the bottom here, my ankles are flashing. Now, there is a reason for that, and the reason is that I'm doing another video, which is where I do 10,000 steps a day. I'm in the middle of that video now, and it involves walking five miles every day. 10,000 steps for me is five miles. I don't wanna to give too much away. And they're stiff, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a lot, and I kind of think perhaps I shouldn't have done it, but I'm halfway through now, so I'm not stopping. Five miles a day has taken a toll on my ankles and my hips, and they are feeling stiffer than they did before. At the end of this, um, this month, I'm doing this during February, I will go back to walking less and working on these areas, and I'll update you in my next review video of whether I've been able to improve in all areas. This is a fairly well-priced app for the volume and the type of content that's on there, and it's $16.99 a month. I'll put a link in the description which will give you a two week free trial of pliability. And my advice would be just click on the link, do the trial, make sure you've got time, make sure there are days when you can perhaps have at least six or seven workouts in those two weeks. 
set a diary note for the day before the free trial ends, and then you can decide if you want to keep the Pliability app on, which I've done, or if it's not for you, you can just cancel it and there's no cost involved at all. That link also helps support the channel, which is greatly appreciated as well. In conclusion, I love this app. I've been using it now for about seven or eight weeks, and it certainly is a lot better in terms of me sticking with it than yoga is. You don't get the balance elements that you get in yoga, but for me, that's worth a trade-off because this is something I can do several times a week, and I actually look forward to doing it. There are two types of middle-aged people at T-junctions, aren't there? There's the ones that look like this, and there's the ones that are starting to do this. And I wanna make sure that I'm in that first category for as long as possible. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to like the video. And as I've mentioned, I'll put a link in the description for a free trial. And if you take it on after that, it does help support the channel as well. And I think you'll get lots of benefits from it, like I have. Until next time, see you soon.